Exercise 11. On January 1, 2011, Selden issues $250,000 of 10% 15-year bonds at a price of 97 and a quarter. Six years later, on January 1, 2017, Selden retires 20% of these bonds by buying them on the open market at 103 and three quarters. All interest is accounted for and paid through December 31, 2016, the day before the purchase. The straight line method is used to amortize any bond discount. Requirement 1. How much does the company receive when it issues the bonds on January 1, 2011? These bonds are quoted as a percentage of the par value. 250,000 multiplied by 0 0.9725, 97 and a quarter percent, is $243,125. This represented an initial discount of $6,875, the difference between the par value and the issue price. Requirement 3. How much amortization of the discount is recorded on the books for the entire period from January 1, 2011 through December 31, 2016? Using the straight line method, the discount is amortized at a constant dollar amount. As of December 31, 2016, six of the 15 years of this bond's life have elapsed, so the amortization would be 6875 multiplied by 6 fifteenths, the portion of the bond's term that has already elapsed. $2,750 of this bond's discount has already been amortized as of December 31, 2016. Requirement 4 asks us to calculate the carrying value of the bonds as of the close of business on December 31, 2016. On January 1, 2011, the balance in bonds payable had been credited for $250,000, and discount on bonds payable was initially debited for $6,875. We have amortized 6 fifteenths of this discount, so over the term of the bond, as of December 31, 2016, $2,750 of the discount has been amortized, leaving an unamortized discount amount of $4,125. The carrying value of the entire group of bonds, $250,000, less the balance and discount on bonds payable, $4,125, is a carrying value of $245,875. 20% of these bonds will be retired the next day. The carrying value of 20% of this group is 49175 Requirement 5 asks how much the company paid on January 1, 2017 to purchase the bonds that it retired. The amount paid to retire the bonds is expressed as a percentage of the par value. The amount paid is 103 and 3 quarters percent of the bond's par value. $250,000 multiplied by 20%, bonds with a par value of $50,000 are to be retired. The amount paid is 103 and 3 quarters percent. When we convert that to a decimal, it's 1.0375. The amount paid to retire the bonds is 51875 The amount of the gain or loss from retiring the bonds is the difference between the carrying value and the amount paid. The amount paid, 51875 minus the carrying value, 49175 The loss on retirement is $2,700. We're asked to prepare the journal entry to record the bond retirement. The carrying value of the bonds to be retired consists of par value $50,000 less the unamortized discount of 825 There's the $49,175 carrying value. Since we're retiring these bonds, we need to eliminate these two amounts from the general ledger. The journal entry to record the retirement. Debits bonds payable for $50,000. Debits the loss on retirement, $2,700. Credits discount on bonds payable for $825. And credits cash for the amount paid, $51,875.